Hey guys, today I'm going to show you the six maintenance tasks you can perform yourself on a tankless hot water on demand system. Let's get started and look at the supplies that are required for this job. There is going to be an upfront cost, but consider it an investment for future maintenance. I'll add links for everything seen here today in the description below. Here we have 9 litres, almost 2.5 gallons, of 10% cleaning vinegar, and that's for descaling. A 5 gallon bucket from Lowe's. Here is a quarter horsepower sump pump with a garden hose or a washer hose connection. I wouldn't go any stronger than a quarter horse on this, otherwise you're going to have too much pressure in that 5 gallon bucket and could end up making a mess. Here we have a couple of washer hoses, or you could use a couple of short old garden hoses here instead. And next we have a channel lock wrench and a Phillips screwdriver. And lastly you're going to want a small brush and an old towel nearby. So our first task is quite simple, an outdoor inspection. We want to check the exhaust pipe to make sure that it's free from ice, critters or debris or even cracks. So that looks good. And now we'll look at the air intake. Nothing has made a home in there except for me. Perfect. And now that we're back inside, let's power down the unit. And I'm going to unplug mine just for extra safety. So for our second annual maintenance task, we're going to jump into the unit and clean out the source water filter. Cold water entering the system is screened and we need to check that filter. So we're going to shut off the water into and out of the unit. Your service valves at this point should also still be off. Remove the service caps and screw on the washer hoses. I like to make sure they're snug here because pressurized vinegar is going to be flowing through these shortly. Next, open the service valves and drain any water left inside the unit. Skipping the step would result in water spilling out of the unit and onto the floor from the filter screen port. Using my channel locks, I'm going to loosen the screen and be careful not to squeeze it too hard or it could crack. Mine doesn't look that bad here. I'm also going to check the two O-rings and give it a quick brush to make sure that it's nice and clean. Now go ahead and reinstall that screen. It may require a little pressure to get contact with the threads. And now moving on to the condensate cleanout, you're going to need a bucket and a towel for this one. First we're going to remove the pin and then wiggle out the little trap. Oh gross, let's check that out again. Yeah, it was due, pretty gross. So here at the sink, let's get that all cleaned up. And before we put it back into the unit, there's an O-ring left up inside. Fish that out with the pin and check it for damages. Mine is all good, so I'll slide it onto the trap before reinstalling it. And up next, we are going to clean out the fresh air intake filter located here near the top of the unit. Simply remove the screw and slide out the filter from the tray. Give it a quick wash. And that's it, secure it back into place and that's done. Our next task is to descale the unit by forcing vinegar through its internal pipes. To start off we're going to fill our bucket with vinegar. Attach the hose from the cold water side of the unit to the sump pump. Make sure this connection is tight, any small leaks could result in vinegar getting sprayed across the room or even worse, into the hot water system itself. Place the sump pump in the bucket and make sure that the return hose is also in there. Next, plug in the sump pump and be careful that the initial thrust of the vinegar exiting the unit doesn't squirt out of the bucket. Even when I move the hose a little bit, vinegar does get squirted out. Now we wait and let it run for about 45 minutes. Okay, so now we're back, 45 minutes is up. The vinegar looks much darker, awesome. Looks like we really got the unit cleaned out here. It's really brown. And as you may recall from my sediment filter video, I do have high iron content in my water, which is why I need to descale so frequently. All right, so now that the descaling is complete, let's finish off our annual maintenance with a system flush. Let's shut off the service valve and replace the service cap on the cold water side only. Dump out the old vinegar. I actually saved mine for some weed control in the garden. And then we're going to turn on the cold water from my well or the city and allow that water to circulate through the unit and then out the hot service valve. 
This is going to take out any remaining dirty vinegar left inside and I normally like to fill up two buckets. Now we can shut off the hot service valve and remove the hose and replace its cap. Turn the supply line back on followed by the hot water line to the house. Replace and secure the cover and then we can plug the unit back in and power it up. Alright guys, I hope that you found this video helpful and maybe saved you some money in the process. If so, go ahead and hit that thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos.